Hi guys, Mario Official here. This is another educational video that you may go ahead and take note of. And by the way, thank you nga pala sa mga current subscribers ko na patuloy na sumusuporta at palagi nang dyan para magpatuloy ako sa ginagawa ko to. At alam ko na one day, makakasama ko kayo sa success at achievement ka na to. So ngayon, simulan na natin kung ano nga ba ang difference ng paggamit or how to correctly use this and these. Marami pa rin ang nagkakamali kung paano yan gagamitin. Pero ngayon, itatama natin lahat. Gusto mo yun? So, ayan. Itama natin lahat yung mga pagkakamaling yan para sa susunod. Hindi na yan maging reason kung bakit bababa yung self-esteem natin. Especially sa grammar, no? So, now, we have four things that we have to know uh, for us to correctly use this and these. So, ano nga ba ang saan nga ba siya nabibilang? So, ang this and these ay nabibilang, guys, sa demonstratives. Okay? So, we have to know kung uh, paano nga ba siya gamitin sa isang sentence. So, ang gagawin ko is magbibigay ako ng mga examples, guys. At wag na rin kalimutang answerin yung worksheet na ililive ko sa description box para soon after watching this video, you'll know how to differentiate using this and these. First, na kailangan nating malaman is when it comes to pronunciation, they are different. This is actually pronounced as short I, whereas the these is pronounced with the long E. The first one, which is this, is actually singular, and these is actually the plural form. Now, the first thing that we have to know about using this and these is this is used to describe a singular countable noun and these is used with a plural countable nouns. Ngayon, magtataka ka, ano nga ba yung pagkakaiba ng countable noun sa non-countable nouns? So, ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng countable nouns sa non-countable nouns? So, alamin din natin kung ang gagamitin ba natin ay this or these. So, unahin na natin yung non-countable nouns. Ang non-countable nouns ay tumutukoy sa mga bagay na hindi natin kayang bilangin dahil sa dami. So, una nga ay ang tea or powdered milk tea, which is yung favorite natin. Uh, next is sugar, which is, you know, might be powdered sugar or granulated sugar. So, yan. Water, air rice, fear, money, salary, research, and love. So, those are tagged as non-countable nouns. So, ang gagamitin dyan, these words will be qualified with the word this. This lang po na nag -iisa. So, singular to singular. So, singular na this takes singular non-countable nouns. One example for non-countable nouns would be that we are using the word this is this money belongs to my father. This is singular and then the money is singular as well or non-countable noun. So this takes non-countable noun which is the money. So again singular to singular to simplify it. Next we have the countable nouns or simply yung mga bagay na nabibilang po natin. Ang example niyan ay books, girls, toys. So we can say that six books, many books, some books, or a few books. So ayan po siya. So we have again the countable noun. Let me give you an example. Since we are going to use these. Plural to plural. Anong countable noun ba ang pwede natin gamitin? So, let's say, These cars will need to be serviced. So, you're not just referring to one car, but a lot of cars. So, therefore, we have to use these. These cars will need to be serviced. Again, Singular to singular if it's this, and then plural to plural if it's these. So, let's move to the second reason 
that we have to know in order for us to use this and these. This and these can be used to introduce people. So we use this para ipakilala yung mga tao na nasa paligid natin. Um, unahin na natin yung this. Bigyan ko kayo ng example or yung singular na this. How do we introduce people using this? Let's have this example. Hello, John. This is my father and this is my mother. So, father and mother, so basically you're just referring to one person, right? This is my father, you only have one father. Then, this is my mother, you only have one mother. So, therefore, we have to use this. Now, how do we differentiate the man in some word na these? Of course, we have these plural. So, let me give you the same example that I got. Hello, John. These are my parents, right? So, these is going to be plural form of this. Therefore, we have to use plural nouns. So, that would be parents. If we are talking about parents, you're referring to two persons, right? Or two people. All right, so now that's the second. Now let's move to the third one. We use this and these for us to show proximity as opposed to that and those. How are we going to differentiate? Let me give you another example for this. Let's focus first on this. This restaurant is better than that down the road. Are you referring to this proximity? referring to sa malapit. So, this restaurant is better. So, we tag restaurant as singular or non-countable noun. Therefore, we have to use this. Okay? So, proximity, malapit. Next, let's move to the second example which we are going to use these. These flowers look fresher than those in the vase. So meaning, you're referring to the nearest flower that you can see, and you also use flowers. Flowers tag as plural noun. Therefore, it should take, or we should use the word these. So therefore, again, it's still the same function, singular to singular, and then plural to plural. Now, last but not the least, this and these can be used as pronouns as well. For instance, so how do we do that? Paano ko nasabi na we can use it as pronouns as well? Let me give you an example. So, this is mine. Meaning, this is singular. This is, you know, singular as well. And mine. So, this is mine. So, you're referring to a pronoun as well. Possessive pronoun. Meaning, that's mine. This is mine. Or, this cream is mine. Okay? I'm tagged as a singular because I'm just referring to one. Right? Next, let me give you the second example which is these. How do we use it as these or plural? These are old shoes. Those there are newer. So, you're like comparing that, hey, these are old shoes. These is actually plural, so it takes plural nouns or noun. So that would be the old shoes. Because if I just say shoe, then it's a lang yon. If I say old shoes, then that's gonna be two. So again, plural takes plural noun. Okay? This, which is plural, takes plural noun. And in conclusion, it's very easy to determine Right? Because remember that this is used with singular nouns and these is used with plural nouns. Malilito lang talaga kayo kapag mahirap sa inyo na determine if it's countable or non-countable nouns. I advise you do have a table of differences kung ano ba yung mga countable at non-countable nouns so that it would be easier for you to determine. Meron ako sa unahan, pinakita ko yung picture kung tama ba yung mga example natin, no? yung mga post sa Facebook that I got. So, again, makikita nyo yung answer after this video. So, again, now we know how to use this and these in the future or moving forward, hindi na tayo malilito kung paano siya ginitin. Okay? 
so i thank everyone or i really appreciate everyone who actually watched this video and i hope makasama ko kayo sa susunod na pagdidiscuss ko and please don't forget to hit like and subscribe at please access the link of the worksheet that you may go ahead and answer guys right after watching this video abangan nyo na yun guys see you all guys tomorrow and enjoy watching you go ahead and stay safe i love you all